5,000 years ago. The ancestors of the Liangzhu people cultivated this land and created a highly spiritual and technologically advanced civilization. Written characters, spiritual beliefs, farming, water conservation projects, and rudimentary manufacturing ushered in a new era of the Neolithic Age, giving rise to a magnificent civilization that still influences China and even Asia today. Many literati and scholars used to form elegant gatherings in the picturesque landscapes adorning the West Lake. Today, we're inviting young people from various Asian countries to gather here to explore the artistic charm of calligraphy, painting, tea, music, and dance through a series of tasks inspired by Liangzhu culture on the occasion of the Hanzhu Asian Games. Hello and welcome to Yaji Asian Unveiled. I'm Julian Wag and I'd like to first thank our students from the Beijing Language and Culture University for this incredible performance. We're coming to you from this breathtaking and historic archaeological ruins of Liangzhou City in Hangzhou. And I'm joined by Taihi Chin from Japan. She is a trainee concert master at Sichuan Symphony Orchestra and Melody Tan from Malaysia. She's a singer and an associate professor at Guangxi University of Foreign Languages. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Hangzhou. <laughs> it's the first time for me to come to Hangzhou. Uh, Hangzhou's acceptance of diversity, right? And harmony is also where man stays between heaven and Mother Earth, where man finds the right place, right? Yeah. Lin Temple and the Xifu, beautiful city. Liangzhou is a very ancient civilized culture. It's a very ancient culture in China. And this is where they found the earliest and also the largest walled-in city in China. They found jade carvings. They also found lacquerware. But for me, I think the most fascinating thing is traces of prehistoric pictographs. Pictographs, pictographs. They're supposed to be the precursors to Chinese writing. Chinese characters, or at least it was a means of communication. You know, they wrote down what they did, how they carved stones, what and they what ate. they ate. <laughs> <laughs> the daily vlog, basically. Yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs> Liangzhu is known for its unique artifacts and a diverse array of art. In addition to exquisite jade artifacts and black pottery, it also boasts a sophisticated rice cultivating agriculture and the world's earliest peripheral water conservancy system. Even Tsongtsong, one of the mascots of the Hangzhou Asian Games, has his name derived from the famous Tsong Jade Pendant, unearthed from the Liangzhu ruins. So cute! It's so cute! I mean, it's, they look like the three of them, so I think it's they're mascots. mascots. Guess yes. what? Asian Games! Oh, the three, of us, the three of us came to Hangzhou. We're on a mission to Hangzhou to find the faces and traces of Asian cultures and their influences on each other, right? Mm -hmm. So, we've got a mission. A, Ooh, mission, a mission card from I our producer. I noticed this! Okay. <laughs> we've got a mission card from our producer. And it says, there are the three sporty robot mascots of the Hangzhou Asian this Games. Robot. Chong Chong, Lian Lian, Lian Lian, and Chen Chen. Yay! <laughs> okay, so where do we go? Where do we go? The answer is our destination is a Xilin Seal Art Xilin. Society. Well, there is a C word Seal in it. Art. It's probably <laughs> near the West Lake. Wow. So, what do you say? In the spirit of Asian games, let's just get ready, set, and go! <laughs> <laughs> Steel engraving, calligraphy, and painting. It's a society created in 1904 for the preservation of metals and stones. Ooh, jewels. And the research of steel engraving, calligraphy, and painting. It's the most influential and revered arts NGO around the world dedicated to steel engraving, calligraphy, and painting. Welcome to the Xilin Institute. I'll introduce you to two students. 
，一位是叫玉石。呃，是来自日本的留学生，哦、日本的，我也是日本人。欢迎七娃，欢迎七娃。呃，这位是多言，是来自韩国的留学生。韩国，你好，你好，你好，你好。您这里实在是这个太有魅力了哈，这就是文化的魅力。<笑>我知道书法和篆刻其实是这个非常紧密的关联的。那日本的这个书法艺术也是有，能不能跟我们介绍一下？我个人觉得，这种日本的书法和中国的书法的呃差异，就是中国的书法，我觉得比较多带点规律性。嗯。日本的书法，我觉得比较多带情绪性。他们也虽然研究过，呃，中国和日本的经典，但是他们打破常规，表达现代人的情感。For me, I still remember having to copy because you know there are the different styles.、Right? Yes. I started with the kai shu and then li shu. I think it's still pretty rigid. 刚开始其实中国书法很简单，先学经典，先向前人学习，然后慢慢的再找自己的个性。我们说的经典实际上是一种基础，是每个人的应有的一种知识和涵养。但是其实后面的东西写的，你想当一个书法家，一定要写出自我的东西嘛？那这个其实就是个人。那你们对篆刻是怎么产生兴趣的呢？本来书法就是从最初甲骨文的时候还是刻的时候刻的那种感觉。这个我们知道，这个雕刻最早的时候是在兽骨上或者是龟甲上。能掌握文字的，其实在越远古是人越少的，所以说最早的文字其实好多是用于记事，要么是战争，在广泛使用已经到很后面了。真正的印章呢，最早我们是叫乌勒齐名，也就是说最初好多陶器上。会记上就是谁做的这个这个东西，那这时候呢，我们签个对对对，但是不是所有的人都会写字呀？那时候那怎么办？那给你弄个印章吧，你就知道这个印是我的，盖上就行了。这印章是它如何从这一个权力给予的这个凭证啊，或者信物，演变成了一个收藏鉴赏的、书画的这样的一个艺术表达的呢？可能一般的老老百姓会知道的印章就是皇权的象征，没错，皇帝的玉玺。嗯，但是到后来。它的印章的发展，其实，在广泛的过程中，我们知道，从比方说我们是做生意的，到后来官方机构的印章，到个人的印信，真正的文人篆刻的开始是从宋元开始的，因为有了石头。哦，当时在元代的时候，有一个叫王冕的，然后他看到了一个挑货郎担子的，就卖给女孩子发簪上面用的金金洞洞的玉石。玉石。对。就是我们青田的青田石，对他自己用刀刻了一下，哎，这个刻得动，那他是想，哎呦，要我自己给自己刻一方印嘛，这就是文人篆刻的开始。So it's actually inspired by ladies, you know, women's hair accessories. 嗯，所以说美好的事情都是从女孩子开始的。我现在来给你大家示范一个。这个叫湖山最胜处，因为在这里看西湖是最漂亮的地方。大家今天聚在一起，用我们古人来说，这叫雅集，是吧？雅是文雅的雅，集是集合的集。今天我们集在一起做一些很雅的事情，反过来叫雅集。雅集，那我们就是湖山雅集。太棒了，王老师，您说到我心里去了。湖山雅集 ，That's our the name of our show, Yaji Asia Unveiled. On our show, we brought together youth and artists from around Asia to take in the sights and sounds of this beautiful Hangzhou, as well as to find the traces and faces of Asian cultures in Hangzhou. So why don't we do something that mirrors that spirit of collaboration and harmony? 现在写的个字呢是反的字啊。对啊，你用反的写啊。Yes, I was just telling you. It's because it's like mirror. It's like a mirror, right? 文字的这种古朴感和它的自然的这种生动感，整个字的话要表现出来它的天然的这种的美。好。哇，好细啊。It is so meticulous the work on here. Let me show our viewers. The artwork is extremely meticulous and. The difficult part about this is that it's a mirror image of what you actually see. So he has to write it backwards, which is incredible. And he's going to be able to do this, engrave this in just less than ten minutes. We say, "Is like a mirror." But this mirror has to be like this. 
课的时候，有时候肩膀的力量也要去。嗯、哇哦！那我先敲一个出来，大家看一下啊。盖印一定要有仪式感，对不对？谁？双手。哇，我一定要直直慢慢放下来。放下以后看一下双手怎么来做啊？一定要学会这个动作。看这两只手指头，按照上面，这个是保护它的。有力。轻轻的左右中心点不要动啊，印章不能动。懂了，就这样。左右轻轻的摇摆，包括每个脚都要压。前后左右都可以。对，一只手扶在纸上，把纸压住，然后这一个拿印章，这个手要轻轻的拿，因为它有粘性的。是慢慢这样，是一这样一点点在做呢。福山雅吉。雅吉 Asia and Bell。Much like artists who often convened at a Shilin Silk Art Society, lured by the charm of the West Lake, youth from around Asia also gathered here today in a salon of sorts to dabble in arts and a collaborative creation. Here, there are those who paint with the brushes and those with voices. Wow, very beautiful, very beautiful. Oh, great job! This is Shilin Silk Art Society. This is Shilin Silk Art Society. 水光潋滟晴方好，山色空蒙雨亦奇。欲把西湖比西子，淡妆浓抹总相宜。哇，太棒了，太棒了！那谢谢王老师，多谢多谢，非常感谢。Bravo, bravo, bravo! And here comes our card. Ta-da! It says China is the birthplace of tea and tea culture that spread across Asia and throughout the world. Over the millennia, regional tea culture began to appear and became fully integrated into the daily life, social etiquette, philosophy of each country. Your mission next is to trace the spread and development of tea culture throughout Asia and identify at least one ingredient. In quotes. Or way of preparation that made it unique to the region. Okay, very good. What do you say? Time for some tea. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Profound tea culture in Asia. I think we're in a museum, a tea museum. We all dig up something from different places about tea. I'll do tea, Chinese tea. You can do Japanese, Malaysian tea. Yeah, and we'll meet up back here again. Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's go. Ancient Tea Horse Road. The Ancient Tea Horse Road. Ancient Tea Horse Road. One of the country. Let's go here. Let's go here. Tea is ubiquitous. Julia, Julia, the melody. Come, come. 我找到了我自己国家的。This is for tea ceremony, like matcha. Yeah, drinking matcha. And all this different style is come from different city or different part of. What did you find? Southeast Asia. Goods and ideas, blah, blah, blah. Journey to the West made by Zheng He. Zheng He for the facilitated marine trade with Southeast Asian nations. Indonesia, though. Java. So it became widespread because of Zheng He. Are those the teapots that you drink from in Malaysia? This one also? Oh, I think we found my grandpa's old photographs of my long lost relatives. Because my ancestors were from China, Fujian. So when he passed away, we found photographs in like this tin. What does that have to do with tea? Look at this one. 
Qing stone carving. Stone, stone, stone carving. Wow. It's so beautiful. Qing Dynasty. Yeah. Guys, look at this. Look at this. This is very bling bling for drinking tea. Bling bling. <gasps> Who? For the royals. No, I want this. <laughs> Are you in love with tea or this? No, this. How about we have some tea right now? Okay. Right? So Perfect. I found two gurus who's already making tea for us. Mustafi! Oh, hey! Long time, long time, time no see! see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! Oh, thank you. So, you look great! Thank you! Nice, nice to, to meet you! Too. What do we have here today? Long Jin. It's very famous in Hangzhou. It is, I have to say, the best tea, the best green tea in China. Set the scene. I love the color. It looks Ooh. pretty good. The color kind of reminds me And the sound bit. is so therapeutic too. Yeah. The sound of pouring the tea. I hear in traditional Indian culture, tea is part of the Ayurvedic medicine as well. Yes, well, in India, we love tea. So, India, we call tea chai. chai. It's very it's similar, more like Mandarin. similar uh, process where we pour the tea, in, like just like the pool tea. But the difference is we try, so the, our idea of doing it is so that we mix it with the oxygen. In India too, I know you add a lot of herbs to tea. So for us, we use like herbs like tulsi and we use uh, many spices like pepper, cardamom, ginger, and we mix it with the tea and it's actually very soothing for oh, the body. Oh, it sounds delicious, right? Yes, now. it is very delicious. We have so many types of tea. We have masala tea, yeah. we have uh, darjeeling tea, which is like Darjeeling's a place. Tea. And um, it is it's very Beautiful flavorful. Place. Yes, you should come. You all are welcome. All very welcome to come visit India. Thank yeah, you. we will go tomorrow. <laughs> you know, here in China though, I think a lot of people don't know is that we have to thank this one guy. His name is called Lu Xu. He really systemized the preparation of tea, tea ceremony. Not just tea ceremony, it later on became a ceremony, but the preparation of tea as a beverage. And that's when people started drinking tea in their everyday life. Before that, it was old medicine, right? They chew it and then they swallow it. They don't really boil it. To we have green tea right here, but I'm just curious, in Malaysia, do people still drink green tea? Or is there yes. other types of tea that people well, like? Well, uh, we have something called like Liang Cha, which is like, like Guangdong. Guangdong Liang Cha. Liang Cha, Liang yes. Cha. So, so iced tea. because it's really hot, it's not really iced, it's hot. It's, it's, but why it's is like it herbal me? tea. So why is it called Liang Cha? Because Malaysia is a tropical country, it's really hot, you know, like in India, it's really yeah. hot. So drinking Liang Cha sort of like cools on your body. Like, you know how TCM always says like, Shi qi zhong. Too much dampness yeah. or too much heat and too yeah. much fire. So there's exactly. actually herbs inside the tea yes. that, that's cool, that cools your body down. Okay, that's <laughs> nice, that's nice, that's good to know. This reminds me of something from Japan though, right? Yeah. Uh, you, does this, does this remind you of anything? It's kind of like a test like, green tea, Japanese green tea, but this one is more mild and the melting in the mouth. But uh, in Japan, it's a more bitter. It's more bitter. More bitter. So how do you drink tea in, in Japanese? Because I know they have like a tea culture as well, right? Uh, green tea and matcha is very oh, different. different. Matcha is more traditional way to show people, like uh, entertain and then give them a heart with a hospitality. Ceremony. Japanese host. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, the Japanese tea, I find it so interesting the way that, you know, when I went to Japan, tea, is used everywhere in everything. I mean, in food, in gastronomy, what people mix. Do you guys notice that people in China too? Sometimes they'll pe mix tea with rice. Have you ever had? Oh yes, right? we have that or in Malaysia different as well. Bowls. Lei cha. Right. You pour tea over rice and you mix it with you know different you know side dishes too. Sometimes it comes out so good, so good. You have to try it. I did in Japan. We call ochazuke. Ochazuke. Ochazuke, so rice and put a uh, green tea yeah. and then we put some salmon, like a big salmon oh. and then eat with it, like a salty one. It is yeah. so good. It's it's salty? Do that as well. Yeah, salty, oh, something salty. like a plum or salmon we did. Mm. Savory. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have it. After tomorrow, you go to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> India first stop. Yeah, India first stop. <laughs> I come to China and uh, study about Chinese tea. Green tea and also many, many, many different teas. So I need, yeah. I need to bring it to other countries. Now I can do uh, some uh, like pao cha, also dian cha. Did you guys watch that series? It's called A Dream of Splendor. 
starring Chinese actress Liu Yifei, who also stars in Mulan. She made the art of Dian Cha popular oh, yes, again, right? Yes. Go ahead, by all means. No problem. Impresses. Fang Song Dian Cha is in Song Dai. That is a kind of Cha Yin. That generation of people like to play this kind of game. Many people live together, to play a game, or to play a game. Who plays better? Oh, you're using the same thing again. Yeah, we, 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 we need to like blend swap. it, mix it. Yeah, well. mix it, mix it. Oh. Yes. This is same way as Japan. Same, same way. Yeah, we do like this. Wow. Mm. Need to. Is, is wow. this a tree? In the Shifu. From the West Lake, right? Mm. Yes. It is. It is. It it is? is? Yeah, That's your answer. Wow. Wow. Tahi, only a few months in China. You already got the. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. So, do you know what what it means? This leaves. It means countries. Ah. Wait, wait, this wait, wait, is what? wonderful. The leaves are the countries. Yes. We're this all part of the same tree. tree. This is literally the wow. tree of life, right? We are all part of the same tree, the different cultures, the different people from different places, but we're all yes. part of that oneness. That's so that beautiful. That is such wow. a beautiful gift to all of us yeah. here. Right? Thank you so much. What do we say we toasted this tea? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's toast. Cheers. 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 Go. Something. <laughs> and of course, oh. we've got two You've cards. Got two. The first one is breaking. There's the second one, Asian music. All right. Okay. So what do you say? Let's go. Let's go. This is incredible. And I'm standing on the Gongcheng Bridge. This is one of the most historic, one of the oldest bridges that I know is still standing in China today. It's known for this Dogun structure, which is sort of like the mortise and tenon joint construction structure. Incredible piece of history and artwork. And look at that, the B-boys. Breaking Dance, of course, is taking part in the Asian Games for the first time this year. Let's go and talk to the B-Boys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. 赛事项目之一呢，因为这个 breaking 它是一个很具有观赏性的舞种，同时呢，它还具有一个很强的竞技性，对选手的运动能力有极高的要求。OK， 最近就是中国人在创作大量大量的属于我们自己的原创的作品。OK， 而且是有国风的很多元素，琴棋书画都包含在内。哇，真的很有特色，我还真没看过琴棋书画。We've got calligraphy, martial arts, chess. 二虎，that Today,
非常之可爱。Through the music. <笑> Hello， 大家好，能不能给我们介绍一下，你们都是来自哪个国家的？我是来自马来西亚。来自马来西亚。Malaysia。Hi。他也是来自马来西亚的。那您呢？您是来自哪里的？马来西亚 ，Malaysia contingent number two. Okay. What's the difference between guqing and guzheng? The main difference is the number of strings. Oh, how many? Guzheng have twenty-one strings and guqing have only seven strings. Oh. Oh, it has like reverb. Yeah. Like in Chinese, we call yun. Yun. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, and this one looks pretty similar to the guzheng, right? Now, judging by the dress, I guess you're from. Korea, right? Right. Okay. What's your name? My name is Shin Ji Won. Shin Ji Won. Yeah. Okay. This is kayagum from Korea, traditional uh, instrument. Okay. Kayagum. That looks very similar to the guzheng, right? What's the now, difference? what's the difference, you guys? What's the difference? Maybe I can, the sound is a bit different. I'm eyeballing the uh, the strings on here. I think this one has 25 and that one has 22. Oh, really? No. This is 25 and 25. 25 and 25. Hmm. That is 25 and 25. 21. See, 21. 21. Okay, okay. Close. I'm close. Right? I'm close. <laughs> I know. I believe this is the gaohu and the arhu. They're very similar. The size similar. is a bit different. The size is different. The gaohu has a smaller belly, so oh. the pitch is higher. Can you play it? And with the same note on the other one. See, so, yeah, there's a lot of more. Oh. There's a lot more okay. bass to it. Gaohu 的话是二胡改制而成的，改制成的，所以它会更高音。二胡会比较受欢迎一些。一般上高胡会在乐队里面才用。Okay. Why did you come to China to study music? Um, also, is this is the origin of this instrument? Okay. I want to learn more genre of music, oh, like Chinese music. 就是你要学到那个韵味的话，你就要懂那个地方的语言，那个地方的文化。没错。所以你就要更了解中国。As we're coming to the end of this adventurous and eye-opening journey, we can appreciate so much more the different keys and colors in music. Art is the confluence of the passion, the wisdom, and the dedication of so many brilliant minds and cultures. Art and culture, at their most sublime, are built on the virtues of sportsmanship. And to reach the peak of any sport is none other than an art. Today, youth from around Asia have converged here in Hangzhou to revel in the splendor of Asian civilizations. Tomorrow, we will be trailblazers, shining the beacon on new heights and new worlds. I'm Julian Walken in Hangzhou. I'm Melody. I'm Taiki. Bye for now. Bye for now.